permiso, buenas tardes. Teachers, how are you? I hope you're fine. Welcome to the Sunday webinars. My name is Andres Rodriguez. I send my greetings to all of you from Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia. Welcome Bolivian teachers from Cochabamba, another town. I send my greetings to Pakistan and other countries that they are streaming us. Thank you very much, my dear professors. My name is Andres Rodriguez. I'm sharing with you this Sunday webinar, this experience ever for English teachers. It's for you to contribute to the EFL community in order to have um, uh, sessions, online webinars with uh, speakers, no? From different parts of the world. Hello, Monica, welcome. Uh, from Peru, no? Okay. Thank you so much, no? Okay, my dear professors, um, before we start the webinars, I'm going to share with you. Hello, Jacqueline, it's an immense pleasure to see you. Okay, I want to present some um, ideas, no? And advertisements. First, first, of all, first of all, I want to begin, uh, today is a special day in North America. This is the Ju 4th of July, so I send my, green, my greetings to the uh, American, uh, to the American Embassy and also for the, my, my American friends, no? So if we have American friends, we can send them my reading, our readings for them. Thank you so much. Um, in addition, in addition to this, um, teachers, let me announce you that we are organizing these webinars every Sunday, and you will have your certificates, no attendance certificates, which are very important for your uh, uh, for your background, for your curriculum, for your CV, and all the things or parties that you are involved in, no? Thank you so much. And now it's time to present something. Okay, professors, I want to initiate this um, uh, webinar with, with the sponsor of World Language Academy. World Language Academy is our sponsor for Sunday webinars and they are uh, forming part of, in Ecuador creating the webinars and also we are going to present the special guest uh, today. Today, we're going to have the pleasure to introduce Mr. Andres Rodriguez, uh, an Ecuadorian professor, okay, who has been working so hard in the, in the different areas, coaching, methodology, supporting teachers for preparation for achieving uh, certifications, in international certification, um, teacher in different schools, high schools, and also at college, no? And also an international speaker, no? who has presented different topics in order to contribute it to the EFL community. So this is our special guest. He is from Ecuador, from Guayaquil. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you so much um, uh, for this, uh, for your, uh, to be here in this webinar. I, I send my welcome to the all teachers uh, who has uh, who has joined us. I'm going to present my, my, my screen. We are going to begin our topic uh, in this session. What is the topic about? We are going to talk about emotional and supportive coaching. But first of all, teachers, I want to begin presenting this topic with a big question. What is teaching for you? Teaching in general terms. How can we define teachers? Okay, I would like to read your comments in the in the chat or if you want to uh, participate in speaking, I will be hearing you. What is teaching for you, professors? What, what, what are your ideas about teaching in general? Okay, um, sir, uh, please. Um, I can I can't read your name, but you raise your hand. You can uh, uh, you can talk, please. Um, <coughs> that's, that's the yes. uh, Good morning, everyone. Uh, I want to wait. Yes, I want to weigh in and let you all know that I think it's very much of a give and take. Uh, I facilitate more so than direct in my line of work. Um, I find that teaching English can be much more comfortable when people are, uh, when students are uh, feeling a little bit more like they have a, a place in the classroom, especially if they've never been to formal school. So for me, it's very important to have a give and take um, more so than a direction. There are times that I wear that hat, but most of the time I enjoy seeing what the students already know because they're at differing levels in their experiences in the United States, and so that's very important for me to be aware of. Thank you so much, Professor. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Miss. Where are you from? Uh, what's your name? Uh, my name is Fatma. I'm from the United States. Thank you so much for your uh, for your comment. Thank you for your contribution. I'm reading now uh, many comments of teachers that are writing about a uh, different idea about, about teaching, okay? Guiding people, sharing information, lifestyle. I like that part, lifestyle. So, um, well, uh, teachers, I think that we have, um, uh, we, have an, we have an idea about what is teaching, no? Um, teaching is not only a mere idea about sharing information or knowledge <coughs> or trying to persuade someone to do something new, no? Uh, teaching is more than that, no? Yes, I can, uh, as I can read you in your, in your comments, okay, you express it's a lifestyle, no? Um, I value, I value that comment because in real life, we are not only teachers in the classroom, we can be teachers outside class, you know? So, uh, how can we teach other people in our community? Uh, it is true and I said that, that we are a role model. We are role models so that people uh, feel inspiration of us or we follow with example rather than only uh, with words, no? Or only talking. Um, teaching is more than instruction. Teaching is a lifestyle like someone uh, write a comment and also our um, the person who has already uh, talked now expressed especially in the in teaching EFL no so uh, very uh, that's a very that's a very good um, starting with your comments okay so because I'm going to introduce the topic about coaching okay this is the topic that we are going to to start um, in this Sunday session now I have another question about, do you know the difference between a coach or a mentor? Do you have any idea what is a coach? Who is a coach? And who is a mentor? Maybe, maybe they, this word sounds to you, okay? You, you hear those words. They are familiar to you. Because every time we hear, okay, the coach, the coach, or I have my mentor, I feel inspired of my mentor. But what is the difference? Do you know what is the difference about coaching and mentoring? I want to read. Okay, go ahead, please. 
the defense is uh, a mentor is the one who's who's taking care of you and how to guide you, and the other one is also the defense between the coach is the one that trains you to do something. For example, physical. It could be physical or mental also. Yes. Okay. Part of the role, the part of the mentor's role, is to obviously to guide, to show you what to do. Okay. Rather than the than the coach, no. Any other idea that you have? What is the difference about a coach or a mentor? Okay. Um, let me read in the chat if you have any ideas. Okay, a mentor is a person and friend who guides an experienced person by building trust and modeling positive behavior. Yes, I, I, I personally agree with you, yes. Yeah, because um, in the role model, in the mentor role model, is just not about only guiding. No? I'm going to explain you what, what's the what's the whole definition about it, okay? Let me show you in, the, in a real context, okay? What is the difference about a coach and a mentor? Okay, so, okay, before I read this, okay, let me, we have more and more, you transmit knowledge during years, yes, exactly, you know, is someone who inspires or maybe influence, okay, positively in other people's lives with ground, careers, goals, achievements, etc., no? So, here, in this moment, we can read, okay, what is a trainer, a teacher trainer, who is a mentor, and who is a coach, you know? Um, I think everybody, uh, teachers, students, learners, everybody, everyone who wants to learn something new, um, we have a trainer in our life, no? What you, who is a trainer? Okay? Um, the trainer's role is to ask directive questions, okay? Provide you information and seek specific answers, okay? Often highly structured based on past learning. So. Uh, let's imagine it's like well, when a teacher, the teacher's role, role model, no? When a teacher begins the class, okay, the teacher uses the work up activities, ask okay, inductive questions, critical questions, just no questions, in order to determine if the student has um, an idea about the topic that is that, that the new topic that is going to uh, to be part of the class, no? So the trainer uses that um, format in order to know what are the strength and the weakness of the person who is uh, who is going to be trained in this case no um for example if you are going to be trained in order to have a english certification okay the trainer before uh, beginning your preparation and your training process he he makes a diagnostic about about you no so uh, the diagnostic is not only a formal format or model, okay, it can be just like questions. It can be by activities, inductive activities in which it can he or she can determine if you have um, enough knowledge uh, enough knowledge in order to begin the process. You now to determine your um, uh, where you can start. Okay, your starting point, you no? Know? So that's the trainer. Uh, otherwise, the mentors, okay? Who is a mentor? A mentor is someone who can be inspired or can transmit, obviously, experience and knowledge, no? Not only knowledge, it's a role model to follow, no? For example, mentor is someone who can, who can follow you, okay? During your life, no? Since your childhood, when you are a teenager, or even when you are an adult, a professional, we, we have someone who can we admire to follow the steps, no? Especially someone, uh, a professional who has uh, achieved a specific goals that we want to achieve to. So, it's someone uh, which we, uh, who, who we admire. For example, the mentor uh, has a capacity to determine in our answers with some questions, direct questions, no? Questions can be yes or no questions, uh, reflective questions, and obviously the mentor, similarly to the trainer, uh, provides you information sources, no? Okay, which are different, different in different ways, no? So the mentor doesn't tell you what you have to do. So the mentor 
give you what, where you can follow or link to find the links or the information that you that you require no so they give you all the sources but it is it depends on you um, to do your best in order to find solutions no for example the mentors also they, they base on past experience and they seek alternative answer structure no alternative uh, answers are the ones that they can be uh, choices no for example different alternative for you to follow in addition we also have the coach no so um, in these days uh, we have heard the word coaching the expression coach the coaches no in different areas of our life no for example coach life or business coach or uh, ontologic uh, coach no or um, in the, the, when the companies hire coaches no in order to uh, train or to support their employees no in their uh, in order to achieve some goals no because the, the, their companies um, they want to hire them with a specific purpose no so what is a coach a coach don't necessarily is a teacher is not necessarily a mentor is not necessarily a trainer but the coach influence you with open questions okay open questions that determine that you discover by yourself okay in your inner discovery purpose for example the coach the coach never tells you okay uh, you are good or bad no that's that's not a, a property the coach uh, evaluates you observe you okay uh, take notes about your development okay the coach can call you to a meeting in a close meeting and he can per give you a personalized feedback okay but never tell you what you have to do in order to internally improvement okay but the coach asks you direct questions for example um, if you are, if you need a coach, a life coach, okay? Uh, okay, uh, I'm gonna read the, the comments here. Okay, thank you, thank you so much in this part. For example, uh, many people they want to improve in different areas of their life. For example, in the business area, no? When some entrepreneurs they want to begin their business, especially when they are new in something that they don't they, they don't know no so they try to uh, find someone who can uh, support them so they expect the coach try to explain them everything but the coach asks questions for example did you save uh, did you save money did you have enough money to do this um, did you invest money on advertisement questions like that no questions like that that make that makes you that you can reflect if you did it or not so you you can reflect on that so to take a part of these conclusions depends on the coaches no the coaches who are the coaches the coaches are like the the, the person who have been trained no? by the coach by the experts in this case no for example in the in the EFL area in the EFL area, you know, that is a very, uh, very big area, no? When we are immersed teachers, authorities, and also students, especially the learners, okay? So, the the coach, when the, co when the coach meets the group of teachers, okay? The coach pay at pays attention to the student, to the teacher's reflections, or the student's conclusions when they, what they say about their students okay so the coaches the coach take notes and finally ask questions to the teachers if the teachers um, have done or not so the teachers try to reflect on that otherwise uh, the the purpose of the, co the coach is not only to to tell to the teacher okay uh, you have to do this you must be aware of this no the coach influence uh, directly with the teachers in that way so maybe it sounds a little strange 
because you will say, okay, is this only questions? It's more than that, no? We are going to follow, okay, in the sequence of these uh, presentations, the different roles of the coach, okay? So, but this is the main difference between trainer, mentor, and a coach. Thank you so much for this uh, part. Um, I <coughs> I welcome to some teachers, and we continue about this uh, uh, topic. Okay, um, here we have an example in this picture. Uh, this is a this is a, a a real situation. Okay, for example, in this moment, the coach is uh, trying to say something, to express something to the group of uh, footballers, no? They're playing a game. Uh, maybe they are, I don't know, they have been defeated in the game, they are losing the game, I, I don't know. And the coach is trying to uh, support them, but not supporting with kind words, no? So, for example, if like someone says, no, ah, you are my coach, you motivate me, you support me. No, no, no. The coach don't motivate you. Doesn't motivate you. The coach makes you reflect what you're doing. For example, if you are doing something bad, if you are not focused on the game in this case, maybe the coach is transmitting something. He's asking them, are you doing this? Have you been doing this? So, direct questions that makes that the players reflect on them, okay? And they try to take the best, and the, and the coach is trying to take the best on you, okay? So, uh, it's, not like a, it's not like a motivator or someone that teaches you up. So, you can do it, you are the best, you are the champion. No, 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 no. The, the coach is not a motivator. No, he's not a counselor. No, no, no. The coach is someone who makes you reflect professionally. So in this game, maybe this group of um, footballers, they need someone who makes, uh, who needs to make, uh, uh, to encourage them, to support them in order to take their best to win the game. I have shared, I'm sharing with you this important quote because I think we can, uh, uh, we can use it for the purpose of this uh, presentation. Well, coaching is unlocking, okay, a person's potential to maximize its own performance. It is helping them to learn rather than teaching them. Okay, what I said before, yeah, he's not teaching uh, to the players that, that they have to play, they have to win. No, he's just transmitting something. Is trying to reflect, to make reflection on them, in order to maximize their potential. Are you doing this? Are you are doing this? No. So it's like a it's like a brainwashing. Okay, it's like a brainwashing. Yeah. Rather than uh, nice and kind words, they they are. He is trying to be very honest with you. So not to hurt your feelings, but he is honest with you with the right questions okay so in order to maximize your potential that's the idea um welcome miriam it's a pleasure for you to see you okay my dear teachers we continue with the second sequence of the of this presentation okay here we have different words that can make connection with coaching Okay, for example, um, when at the beginning I mentioned that a coaching is not, the, co the, the coach, the purpose is not to, uh, like, a, like a motivator, hey, you can do with this, but he can influence you positively that your intrinsic motivation tries to, to come up. For example, if you're doing bad a job or you are not focusing on and a specific uh, methodology in your area with your students, the coach tries to persuade you in order to 
to see you, to have the vision, what you need to do in order to improve with the direct questions, okay? So he can motivate you in that way, in extrinsically, not intrinsically, extrinsically, in order to do a better job. So everybody has potentials. So we have our strengths. We can do it in a better situation. We can do it, um, sorry, we can uh, renew our energies. We can renew ourselves. We can get, uh, we can be a better, a better version of our person, of our professional development. Okay? So potential development, they, they have a connection. Skills. Okay, you need to train your skills, but the coaching try to potential on your mind. Okay, try to potential with your first with your ideas, with your reflections. So when you are thinking, when you start thinking, it's like when you start moving. Okay, uh, is this is that's true what he said? I was not doing it that way. I can improve it. Okay, so I can start thinking more and become more creative more reflective so I can strand I can be better in my skills so it's a support it's a support it's an assistant because the coach can follow you okay can follow you up okay the coach is not only uh, asking the right questions the coach can also follow you up for example, uh, teachers or uh, or learners, when they sit the, when they sit with their coach and talk about uh, their their learning process or the teaching process, uh, in the next section in the next session, the coach will ask to the teachers, uh, how have they improved or, or what have they done, and the teacher draw conclusions. Okay. Uh, about the things that they have improved, you know? For example, uh, even if we want to improve uh, speaking or listening or to improve the proficiency, um, the proficiency uh, of our students, no? So the discussion is not only about what did the professor, uh, what the professor did or the teacher did in the last session. So what, how the, the, the the professors improve their role, okay, in order to compare and measure qualitative and quantitative. So it's like a feedback, no? It's like a feedback, no? So the coach can go inside your classroom and make an observation classroom, okay, with a purpose to determine how well you have improved or you need to make some improvement, no? Remember that the idea of a of an observation class is not to criticize you. No. The idea is to make you improve. Okay? To make you improve. To get better. Okay? For example, I think that most most of in most cases you as English teachers or if you are uh, if you are uh, English trainers or mentors, you have been observing classes. Okay? The development of the class, the classroom management, the teachers, uh, the teachers speak, the, the teachers uh, rhetoric, the teachers speech, okay, the time consuming of every activity, okay, the sequence of the activity, all right. So we are integrating all the aspects in order to determine what is the specific. Uh, role of the coaching in, in that in that area no finally the coaching can provide you advice no provide you a professional advice to you to improve no but it is at the end of the process when you have finally uh, follow the steps no so after we have had sessions when we have feedback when we draw conclusions so it's a complete process that evidently uh, that process is not easy to follow, but it's necessary in order to achieve goals, no? In the, in the different areas of our life, no? Uh, particularly in our case, which is the EFL area.
okay okay um, um, yes okay thank you um, Tanya welcome okay mr. mr. Juan I will share with you the information and we try to how to send you that okay so uh, professors what is the role of the coach as I mentioned you before okay um, my role as a coach I'm not your leader I am not your boss I will never tell you what you have to do okay I am not your alarm clock no I am not your decision maker no okay I am not your team leader no so that's not my role of coach no my role of coach is to be honest transparent with you okay a strongly honest okay in that way I will guide you and give you feedback okay in most cases people don't like it okay maybe we love that when someone guides us okay in order to achieve some goals but people but people hate feedback no in general terms no as I mentioned you before because feedback you need to be very honest okay and some and sometimes people don't want to hear the real truth no so the thing that we have to improve that's a that's a little um, complicated to say but it's necessary okay the coach suggests things for you to try or you to test no to challenge you to be a better version of you okay if you ask a question to a coach let's suppose no you ask the question to your coach that you can do it but the coach never tell you what is the what is the 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 the, the magic formula to to, to 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 solve all your situations or problems however the coach can give you a alternative okay they make you think about it clearly but he never but he or she will never tell you this is the correct no 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 the coach uh, makes you reflect on your choices maybe you can be right maybe you can be wrong but that's part of the process if you're right and, and we have seen wrong good good results okay the coach will continue giving you the feedback to follow you up in case you took a make, make a bad decision it will do the same the coach will observe your class will make your feedback and will tell you in what you need to improve but they don't but never say but never tell you what you have to do okay so that's the, that's the, the coach role as a coach I need your trust I need you trust me in my job okay uh, I'm not your friend I'm not I'm sorry I'm, I can be friendly with you but I'm not your friend because uh, uh, I need to be very honest with you very transparent and sometimes people hate truth but it's necessary it's important especially in the professional development I need your permission okay I need your permission permission and uh, what permission I need to be allowed to to be honest with you to tell you what you don't want to hear from me okay not because I want to to hurt your feelings no no otherwise you could you keep doing the the thing you were doing before no so we need to leave behind prejudice or things like that no if we want to open our mind and to follow and to be a better uh, version of ourselves okay thank you so much uh, Miriam for the for reminding just a quick reminder about it Okay, uh, professors here these are the different roles of the coach no so uh, we can have different uh, roles okay in the in the moment that we can support learners or teachers or whenever they want to get better in some situations I can in the classroom a teacher can be a coach I think so I guess so no 
For example, a teacher in the classroom with the students can be effective. We can use coaching, you know, when we ask questions to our students, no? Psychologically, it's, more, it's, it's, it's good when we ask questions to our students instead of telling them what we have to do, don't do this, you have to do this, don't do this, okay? So, it's much better if we focus more on reflecting, make our students reflect. So, if we teachers do that, we are coaching, okay? Because we are not using words to tell people what to do. We are just make people reflect. So, that's the purpose of coaching. Make people reflect and make people act, okay? According to neurolinguistics, okay, the neurolinguistic problems is based on what we say, the words we use, they are the words that inspire us to, to go ahead. But we change our mindset first in order to change our habits. So it's a uh, mental problem with that we work with ideas. And the coaching science is based on neurolinguistics. As a trainer, yes, we have a connection with trainers. Yes, because, for example, if we prepare other people to achieve different goals, to to improve their skills, okay, we can coach them to asking questions. We can motivate people, but not the motivate, but not in the motivation that we use positive words. And you can do it. No, no, no. That's cheering. That's cheering. Cheering up people. No, that's not motivating. Encourage people. We can motivate people with uh, questions, acting, uh, reflective questions. Make people reflect. When people reflect, people understand that they have to improve in something. Okay, with our guided questions, so we can support in what in that way. We can be disciplinarian. Okay, uh, we have to. We have. We need to focus. We need to focus the context of this word because if we are talking about uh, classroom management, disciplinarian is when we. Um, Disciplinarian is when we are um, uh, trying to control the student's behavior. But when we are talking about uh, training, disciplinarian is when we control the time, when we control the habits, when we control uh, the teacher's uh, performance, or some things that we have to to we can be so flexible. So this is disciplinarian, no? Organizing manager. So we are the leaders in the moment that we organize in a classroom or when we are in a meeting with other colleagues. We can also use the public relation officers. Uh, yes, when if we are our uh, independent representation, when if we have a, if we are uh, independent coaches in coaches, we need to establish some public relationship with other people, especially high schools, universities, schools. Okay. Uh, uh, community, uh, EFL community, etc. No. Okay. Uh, we also have friend and mentor. I would say to be friendly. Okay. We are not friends. We are friendly. We can be nice, but not friends. Okay. Because that's different. Okay. If you're friendly, okay. Friendly is an attitude that I have, but I cannot be your friend if I'm coaching you, because I need to be honest and direct but with guided questions in order to avoid feeling you, okay? We can be advisor, fundraiser, analyst to make conclusions. So the coach, you have to manage different uh, roles. So uh, you will say, oh, it's complicated to be a coach. No, I think maybe yes or maybe not. It depends. No? So it depends on, on, on what if you, if you like or not. No? Um, if you like coaching, that's that's just the different roles that you have to focus. It's just when you change uh, and you put a hat on and, and you change your presentation. So in this way, when you are coaching, you need to assume different roles. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, okay, in this part, we have the, the different type of coaching. Okay, for example, um, in the sports, it's necessary that we coach a sport, no? Especially in competitive, uh, competitive sports, no? For example, uh, when some, in, in some countries, for example, I read that in South Korea, sorry, in North Korea, the governments are, are, are flexible with the, with the uh, sport competitor when they don't win, when they don't win medals, okay? So, uh, a sport representative, they need a sport coaching, someone who can guide them in order to train. Life coach, it's very, I think it is very important because um, many people, we want to, uh, we have different roles in our life. We are parents, we are professionals, uh, uh, we want to achieve different goals, so uh, we need to determine our uh, priorities, no? So the life coaching can uh, mod, uh, can encourage us how can we um, do it, no? In order to uh, to make, uh, to be perseverant, no? In our different roles, no? In our career, in this case, for example, uh, uh, like an EFL teachers, we, uh, some teachers, for example, uh, try to find someone, especially experts in this field, in order to support them, someone who can guide them, especially they want to train their their, their skills or to be better. Uh, not only EFL teacher, many people who want to learn English, for example, professional of different areas, uh, businessmen, uh, in tourism, and other areas that they want that when they need to improve their English, they try to look for coaching. In this executive area, in the business area, okay, many many coaching. We have many coaches, okay, especially in the in the social medias now that we can call them like uh, influencers, no influencers. The personal coaching is similar to the life coaching or a team coaching or a group coaching okay we, we are talking about uh, big companies no big companies and well it exists different type of coach you know so that in the in the universe that we live there are many things that that we don't know and we ignore but we need to know some um, uh, we find someone who can uh, uh, inspire us and motivate us to follow our way in our path Okay. Okay, so I prefer doing this part, okay? Coaching it starts um, with a reflection. Uh, I started my session explaining you that is reflection. So what how can we reflect on it? With questions, direct questions though. No? For example, let's imagine that you can see here, this is a class. The teacher is uh, 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 using the, the presentation, the, the visual presentation of the class, uh, the laptop, okay, this is the presential classes before the pandemic. Uh, the group of students in the classroom, they are, uh, there seems to be they are girls. Okay, so the coach is taking notes at the end. It's doing an observation class. What is happening in that moment, no? Okay? He is, uh, sorry, she is taking notes about what is happening with the teacher and also with the student. So, the coach, when the, when the session, the, when the class finish, the coach will call to the teacher to have a meeting and they will discuss about what they, what they, what they saw in the class, no? They will, they, will, they will ask reflective questions about the teachers and the students. So the purpose of this discussion is that the teacher discover by herself what she needs to improve or, or in the methodology or, or the activities engage the students, etc. I don't know. But this is the purpose of reflection in that way. Okay, the purpose of the coach, okay, in order to support, okay, the teacher or the learners is that 
he needs to he needs to apply the active listening. What is the active listening? You know, the active listening is not just listen what they say, the words. No, it's trying to use all your um, to understand the situation, to the empathy, to empathize with the with the person, to understand. Okay, not to interrupt him or her while she is speaking or trying to to make to draw conclusions in advance. No, so. After he or she, I mean the teachers, they explain to the coach what we're doing in the classroom. The coach gives alternative for choices, yeah? But never and ever we say the answers for what they have to do, as I told you from the beginning, no? Explain with real situation, but we never say, okay, you're doing this, you have to do this, or you are going to do this, no? He presents the scenario. They will talk about the discussion uh, from the uh, from the feedback. Okay, what they what they really saw in the classroom, but never tell what she have to do for improvement. Okay. Okay, so. There will be many sessions that they can be in meetings, no? In formal meetings or formal meetings with the with the coach, no? Some meetings can be outside the, the institution or inside the institution. For example, the area coordinator can uh, uh, schedule with the coach, okay? And the coach can visit the institution, uh, I don't know, maybe once a month or uh, once a trimester or once a semester, I don't know. But um, w when the coach have the meeting with the with the with the teachers or the people who are immersed in these uh, sessions, what is the purpose? What is the purpose of the next sessions? To back it up, okay? To support, okay? The idea is that the uh, that coaches improve the strengths, improve improve the strength no? so let's <coughs> let's suppose that you begin this process six months ago during these six months maybe you follow the coach the coach advice or what the coach said tell you in uh, explain you with the solutions in the in the in the last feedback so you need to find what is convenient to you and when you return to the next section the coach Will, uh, you will talk to the coach again and will, you will explain you need to be very honest uh, what are your results in the for example in the, in, the class, in the classroom management or in the methodology and the way you approach with students etc so the coach will show you the possible solutions and you and he will determine with you about the results no so he can give you an advice, a direct advice to you. So, in this way, that is the process of the coaching. No, the coaching is not only to, as I mentioned, you to tell you what you have to do directly. No, it's more about the discovery, self-discovery, reflecting, more than just showing you the the answers. Okay. So, in this part. We are talking about the coaches. The coaches, who are the coaches? The participants. The person who has been trained by the coach. For example, it's recommendable that you can be curious, keep curious, and ask as much as questions you can. Remember that the coach will never tell you what you have to do, but you need to be curious. You take notes about the alternative that your coach can uh, address you okay show you in order to achieve a goal so you need to be active uh, to use your active listen to understand to empathize no with your coach stay receptive in that moment okay try to understand the context that you are like a learner like a student in that moment and you need to learn from your coach no by opening your mind to new uh, to learn new teaching styles, okay? Because we know that we ignore many things that we are in a process of learning to, okay? Uh, 
Um, for me, it's a pleasure uh, to have shared with you this topic of emotional and supportive coach, okay, coaching with you, dear uh, colleagues. Okay, coaching is just, just a, a merely action of teaching somebody so, uh, something to someone. No, is guiding you, is reflecting you, is following you up, okay, is giving an advice but following a professional process. Similar when you go to a doctor, okay, when the doctor uh, explains you what you, uh, what you ask you questions, no, what did you do the last, the last before you had a, a headache or stomachache, the coach did exact, that's exactly the same. So that's very important in our real life, the way that we can improve, no, in the different areas, no, as a life coach, as a business coach or as a EFL coach, no? Um, I personalize, for example, I try to to support uh, some colleagues when they want to improve to certify uh, and certify their English proficiency level, no? From B1 to B2 and also uh, in different areas, no? When we are we don't we are not expertise in the, in those areas, so. I think this topic is absolutely important in different areas. Thank you so much for this uh, for this part. Um, I would like to hear your questions or read your comments in, in the chat. Okay, so you 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 can uh, ask questions. Thank you so much, uh, Miriam, uh, Marta. Thank you. Okay. Any comment about this uh, topic? Okay, thank you so much, Miss Emma, about this topic. Um, I will I will tell you something. A quick reminder, professors. Um, before you before you get access to this session, I, I share with you a uh, Google form. I'm not sure if you fill in. Okay, if you didn't fill in, I will share with you a, a registration form in order you to receive a, um, a certificate, an issue certificate from from World Language Academy and Andres Rodriguez English Coach is my name, and I will give you and it will send you to your email. So in this moment. I'm sending you to the to the chat so you can complete the form in case you didn't do it, okay? And please help us uh, fill in a, a small survey about uh, the way we are doing the webinars. Good morning, Andre. My name is Juliana. Hello, Miss. Thank you so much. Uh, congratulations on the topic. Excellent one. I want to know one question. So Is there uh, a webinar next Sunday that I miss on the studio? Um, it's possible that we have a webinar the next uh, the next Sunday. I will you confirm confirm you in advance in these days. Uh, um, no more than Monday, and I will tell you in the different groups of uh, WhatsApp. No, so I will. Um, you're from Bolivia, yes, Eliana. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, we have a group. I think great, great teachers. No. Yes. I will send information to that group, and I will tell you in advance if we have um, a Sunday webinar for the next uh, for the next Sunday. Professor, are you listening to me? Thank you, Andre. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Hello, Mister, Sir. Welcome from Pakistan. Yes. Professor, uh, I will laugh at the line from your presentation, and this is a, a third time that I listen to you. I especially uh, very thankful to you that uh, I listen to your presentation, and Thank before you, I for others, uh, so I feel proud. So I will always in future in upcoming I will join. I always with you. What a pleasure to invite you. I want to see you all around the webinars. 
and thanks to Easter, thanks to Easter, because they always try to uh, support uh, globally to professors. It is a pleasure for me to participate in Philippines too. Thank you so much, Mr. Emmer. Professor, okay. Professor Andres. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Amor. Uh, Professor yes. Andres. Yes, I can hear you. Uh, this is the first time I attend uh, a web seminar in this uh, on Zoom. And uh, first of all, I, I want to congratulate you because it is a very interesting topic, and I have learned. Uh, very much. Well, I should I should have started by uh, started by saying my name. My name is Vilma Violeta Borrero Shoa, and I want to <laughs> and I want to say that um, you have been uh, you have been a coach because you you have encouraged me to go on researching on the topic because I am a teacher trainer and um, it comes a question to my mind which can be or not answered and it is uh, the difference uh, we have talked about the difference between mentor and coach and even a trainer but what about the tutor because we use that term in my country, we use also the term tutor. Maybe it is a synonym of one of the mentioned uh, here today, but maybe not. Uh, if it can be some reflections on this, <clears throat> it would be a pleasure, but if not, it is on my own that I have to research about it. Okay, thank you so much for your interest and your require about this uh, this word, no, uh, tutor, no? Tutor. Okay, we have tutor, yes. For example, in um, that that word tutor, no, we heard many in, in many contexts, no. For example, tutor is more um, is more it implies more in a like an in like in a private person's life, no. For example, when you're a child. When you're a child, you can receive the tutoring. You know what is the tutoring? The tutoring mm -hmm. is the yes, process yes, that yes. someone supports you, controls you. It is more than people that when you when they don't have a, a enough level of maturity, no, especially when they are a children, adolescents. You know, no. Uh -huh. They are we're tutoring, tutoring. Okay, we can be yes, tutor. Yes. So. For example, in some high schools in Latin America, I, I don't know, in, in other continents, for example, we heard the word uh, tutor for a leader teacher in the classroom, no? The teacher who is, the, the leader teacher, the leader teacher in a classroom. For example, the tutor is someone who can uh, lead some different uh, situations. For example, the, um, uh, uh, how can I say academic situations, uh, yeah, classroom yeah. management situations, uh, different scenario. Even even the the tutor pick uh, collect other other teachers uh, uh, results or conclusions for, for for from their from their classroom. No, okay. So maybe that's the the point. No? It's more personalized rather than uh, uh, rather than professional. No. In yes, terms yes. Of, in my context, is uh, somehow personalized, but professionally personalized, because mm -hmm. uh, I am from Cuba. I am also an American, a Latin American. Uh, um, but we use that term in the case of my region for teacher training and teacher development. There is a tutoring for um, teacher development, like doc, uh, doctorates, masterships, and mm. in the case of teacher training, we use the word tutor uh, as an integrative. Uh, that is an integrative tutor that deals with everything 
the, your student uh, has to do with. Um, but some, but it is real. It calls my attention. I don't know if I am a tutor or a mentor of it or or a coach, and that's why I want to research on that. It's I very, understand the point. Yes, I, I it's now very, I understand the point. It's very interesting, uh, uh, Professor. I I want to say something. I yes, have a of course. I have a condition, and I am blind. I wanted a help. Where can I find the form in order to obtain the certificate? Um, let me ask to the uh, to the person who, who works with me in the uh, when the person who uh, who who awards the certificates. And you, um, I'm not sure if you have someone to to send me the information. I'm not sure if yes, you have. Yes, a, I have. I have. Okay. I have. Send me the send me your details, send me your full names, everything, the place where you're living, all the information that only that, only that. Your full names, the person where you live it, and that's it. And I will send ah uh, and your email obviously, in order to send uh, your email or, or the email of another person to, to send you. Okay, thank you very much. It's a pleasure and you have been so so kind. Oh, my pleasure. It's an honor for me to do it. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Miss. Thank you. So, dear professors, um, I will say you in advance, thank you so much for being part of this uh, um, this webinar, okay? I think that talking about relating to coaching is we need more hours, uh, coaching hours, training hours in order to determine uh, what is necessary for coaching, whether you need a coach or maybe not, but it, it's very important to know the terms, no? Because in our daily life, we heard coaching, coaching, training, mentor, tutor. Yes, exactly. Uh, the person uh, is right when she said that we use this expression. So, welcome to this session. Uh, I already shared with you the, the Google form. So you are uh, filling. I will, I will send you again in case you didn't. Uh, register to receive your certificate, honorable um, issue certificate. Um, I will tell you in advance if we have a, a Sunday mm -hmm. webinar next week. Thank you so much, my dear teachers from Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, Pakistan, and everywhere, Cuba. And have a nice Independence Day in the United States. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Have a blessing day. I see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye. All the information. Bye, Andres. Blessing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, Mr. Andres. Have a nice day. Hi. How are you? Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye, Miss. Take care.